The Lowry Berwick Trail continues to the next information board at location 13, known as Berwick Harbour. The picture by Lowry is a pencil drawing dated 1959. First impressions can be misleading. This seems to be a view of Berwick from Tweedmouth Dock, but on your right the walls should continue eastwards beyond Shawgate to encircle the town. Lowry has freely altered the scene. What appear to be boats tied up on a sandbank are ships on the stocks of a small shipyard which closed in 1979. But despite the inaccurate topography, the drawing remains highly evocative of Berwick's unique setting and character. The camera now reveals the current view across the River Tweed and the impressive vista of Berwick Town. The side-by-side -side comparison shows the simplistic artistic license given by Lowry in his sketch and how it now looks. The next point on the Lowry Berwick Trail reaches location 14 at the lifeboat station in Tweedmouth. The info board located here shows a Lowry self-portrait dated 1925. The painting shows Lowry as he saw himself at the age of 38. Lowry produced few likenesses of real people, but when he painted large imaginary heads, he would place them against a blow rather than his characteristic white background. A short walk from the lifeboat station reaches location 15 at a car park on the end of Spittle Beach at the mouth of the River Tweed. The picture shown on the info board at this location is called Waiting for the Tide, South Shields, and is a Lowry oil and canvas painting dated 1967. Lowry was fascinated by boats of all sizes including tankers, canal barges and coasters, but generally there is never any sign of the crew. The boats sail on as if strangely abandoned like the Mary Celeste. After 1961 he stayed for periods in the Seaburn Hotel on the front at Sunderland, but he would insist on being driven to Berwick for the day. In Sunderland he was able to see large vessels such as the tanker approaching the mouth of the Tyne. The camera now reveals the current view across Tweedmouth with a small boat moving up the estuary. Further along the beachfront is location 16 known as Spittle Sands. The info board picture shows Lowry's oil on canvas painting of Spittle Sands dated 1960. Spittle is a former fishing village. Its name derives from a leper hospital dedicated to St Bartholomew, which stood there in the Middle Ages. Lowry has painted the scene from close to the front of Forte's Venetian Pavilion, now a tourist fun centre. He painted many such joyously impressionistic beach scenes throughout his life, choosing light pastel hues and thick encrusted paint. He has used scarcely any black. The figures are like ghosts from holidays past, spent with his mother on the sands at Rill. In the middle distance, on the right, tiny figures cluster around a beached fishing corbel. As a treat, fishermen would sometimes row groups of visiting children a few yards out to sea in their boats. The camera now reveals Spittle Beach with the Berwick Lighthouse in the distance.
The side-by-side -side comparison shows Lowry's depiction of a summer's day on Spittle Beach. The current scene from a cool spring day shows a solitary dog walker. Further along the beach is location 17 known as Spittle Promenade. The info board shows Lowry's oil on canvas painting of a girl in a red hat on a promenade dated 1966. Spittle Promenade was built in 1892-94 and has recently been restored. Lowry also made a drawing of this strange little girl and many other promenade figures. The camera now reveals another lovely view of Spittle Beach with the Berwick Lighthouse in the distance. The final stop on the Lowry Berwick Trail is location 18 on a hill above the lifeboat station at Tweedmouth. The info board is titled Back Streets and shows an undated photograph called Falladon Terrace. Back Streets is made up of two rows of brick-built terraced houses called Falladon Terrace and Howick Terrace. These are included in the trail because, although they are not typical in Berwick, these are the sort of houses that Lowry would have seen all the time during his rounds as a rent collector in Manchester and the kind of scene that appeared in many of his paintings. A side-by-side -side comparison of the two photographs shows how the view has changed from the time of Lowry to the current time. An interesting observation is the change in the slope of the roofs on the outbuildings. Also, the number of pots on the chimneys has reduced dramatically. In conclusion, the Lowry Berwick Trail offers an excellent opportunity to walk and explore the beauty of Berwick and Tweedmouth, as seen by one of Britain's iconic artists, L.S. Lowry.